What's up scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill and today I am scrapping my scrappy girls. So I did have the intention of using this cut apart and I do use it slightly but my intention was to see how many elements of the cut apart sheet that I could use and then we just went astray and didn't do that. <laughs> it was just it was one of those days where things just went a different way and and then that's okay I think that I would love to know actually do you start a scrapbook page with the end result clearly in your mind or do you go with the flow and just kind of see where the page evolves uh, I am definitely the latter I find that I get too frustrated if I have the end result uh, in mind because it never goes according to plan it always goes separately uh, so it's easiest for me if I don't have that end goal because I won't get disappointed and cranky at myself. So for this page, I have put a coat of clear gesso over the whole page because I knew I wanted to add some mixed media and wetness and that paper was not going to like it. So I grabbed some plastic, ugh, ugh, I'm getting my old words mixed up. I've grabbed some plastic packaging and some paint pens. This is like a Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers type situation. I grabbed those things. I'm not going to say them again because I won't be able to say them. And I added a little bit of water and activated the, the color and made it smush around. And I'm just doing a really basic smushing technique. This reminds me of old school inky. This was my first ever mixed media technique that I used to do and if you're scared to try mixed media this is a great way that's not it's a little bit messy but it's not too messy and paint pens are such a uh, versatile project a uh, product sorry to have in your stash I absolutely love them they can be pricey when you like all of the colors and want all of the colors but just a black, a white, and then maybe two or three in your favorite colors or colors that go well together, like um, three warm colors, reds, oranges, pinks, yellows, or three cool colors, blues, greens, purples. Uh, it can really do wonders for your mixed media stash. So I've dried that with my heat gun off camera and I'm trying to figure out what cut aparts I wanna use and cut apart sheets at the best of times perplex me and I I love them but I often either avoid using them because I don't like it when I've cut part of the page out and then they're just flapping away in the breeze or I get too overwhelmed because there's too many choices and then uh, abandon ship and go for something else like I did today so I, I do want to try and use more cut aparts uh, in some projects and especially using as much of the cut apart as possible uh, as well. So I've got my photos and I'm matting them on just some white uh, printer grade cardstock like I usually do just to make them pop against all of this wildness going on in the background. And I should explain these photos. So these were taken at uh, the last scrappy retreat that I went to. So this was the Flutterby retreat and sadly the last one was going to be this year but it was cancelled and I'm very sad because I don't get to see my girls um, but they have a dress up night and the theme for this one was 80s and I only decided I was going a week before the actual retreat. My friends talked me into it. Uh, and because I was pregnant with Violet at the time, this was in, it would have been July and she was born in November. So I was about halfway and not feeling fab. Uh, and the retreat is about six and a half hours away from my house. So it is a fair, uh, it's a fair way. It's not easy to come home if, uh, something goes wrong and I wasn't driving myself there. I was catching a lift with a lovely friend and so I, I decided to go and have like one last scrappy hurrah um, before Violet was born. And little did we know that uh, this year was going to go the way that it has gone because all of the retreats have been cancelled this year. Uh, so I was planning on going to it 
in 2020 because I thought by then Violet would be old enough to um, like a little bit older and would be past a bit more settled into a night routine as well uh, and it would be a bit easier for Aaron to juggle working and having her at home uh, but alas the retreat is no longer happening um, which is sad because I wanted to catch up with all of my scrappy friends that I only get to see you know a lot of people I only get to see once a year <laughs> So um, it's, yeah, it's a shame. If you're any of the peeps that usually go to the Flutterby Retreat, hi, this is me giving you a virtual hug instead of a hug in person because we can't this year. Uh, but for this one, I decided to go a little cray cray with the circles. Uh, I first stuck down the two floral, uh, three, sorry, floral embellishments, uh, some little DIY embellishments that I made over on my Patreon uh, experimenting with watercolour and uh, brush lettering as well and foam tape which is my new favourite thing and I wanted to add those just because the colours were a real pop uh, and then I went crazy with all of the circle things. I've got enamel dots and I'm just searching all of my sticker sheets to see if there's any circly things. This is a great way to use up those larger enamel dots that are just giant they're just they're too big bring bring back more little ones uh but yes so back on track with the photos so it was an 80s night and because i was quite pregnant and round uh any of the costumes in the shops didn't really cater for a baby so i and it's oh, i should add it's the middle of winter and this retreat is it's out in whoop whoop it's it's very, very cold there. Uh, and so I needed something, I needed a costume that was going to keep me warm. So I went as My Little Pony and got a rainbow, um, it was a unicorn onesie, but we just went with pony. And uh, yes, I went as, as My Little Pony and it could fit my snuggly little violet belly <laughs> in it and I could still stay nice and warm. So for this one, I was thinking about a title. I really wanted to use those gold thickers, but they were just getting lost with all of the busyness of the circles trickling down uh, throughout my page. So I decided to go with these older, uh, actually not too old. They're, they're just, I seem to look at them a lot, which is why I think they're old. Uh, I think they might, might've been from last year, these thickers. And I started to use the words girl squad because it was quite um, an appropriate title to put in here and I thought the black really made an impact uh, with the background because as well as competing with those circles there's all those stripes in the background as well and so it's it's a bit of a busy page uh, without usually I have a busy background paper like a, a, a hectic floral or something but the stripes are, are deceiving they can be quite I don't know, they just make your eyes do funny things sometimes. So I'm going through some older sticker sheets, trying desperately to finish up some sticker sheets that are half used or that I've got multiples of. Uh, I have quite a few of these cocoa, beautiful cocoa vanilla ones and lots of tiny word strips on them. So I'm using some tiny word stickers. And then I really wanted to use these little uh, words that I had just, I think I'd only just received them when I, f I think I just bought them when I, film this video and so I was adding them to everything <laughs> you'll see a lot of actually the project life videos that of this retreat of which I should say there are I think it's about 12 or 15 pages from this retreat in my scrapbook album it's about half an album's worth <laughs> but like I said I don't live near my scrappy pals and so we don't get to see each other often uh, so when we do we're scrapbookers we take a gazillion photos uh, so I was using those little uh, puffy words everywhere and so I just added that love so it's girl squad love I'm trying to line up that sticker I hate that when you take a sticker off a sticker sheet and it's a complex one and you're just like why won't you fit back on the sticker sheet easily why do you have to make things difficult uh, shouldn't have taken it off in the first place really unless I was sure I wanted to use it that would have made it easier oh that thing so this is something that I found at, is it Dazo or Dazio? I never know how to pronounce it, um, but I've only been there once. We went on holiday to, uh, to Melbourne 
and there was one there when where we were staying and it's like a white out tape but printed pattern it's kind of like a washy white out tape and I just thought the circles would go well and it underlines my title and kind of stops uh, I know I always go on about the the embellishments being like cattle and having to fence them in when I do a doodly border around a page like I'm doing now because oh boy we have lots of circle cattle out there today but I felt like that little strip of washy white out strip circle bits under the title it just it gave the the title a little fence and it just gave it a little shelf a little shelf to rest on and take a break so that it didn't look like it was floating uh, I, I like to ground things on my pages I was going to add a little bit more pink to this side but I didn't like it so now I'm going to try and cover it up because I made a little mistake there I'm trying to figure out what I can use and some of my stickers have lost a bit of stickiness so you might see me add some extra wet glue uh, to some of the puffy stickers here and there trying to figure out you know if I've got tappy fingers that means I'm going mm, what next there needs to be something it's missing something I'm trying to figure it out and I decide some splatters are what I need in a nice hot bright pink I do cringe a little bit when I see this shade of pink because I think I've talked about before uh, my high school sports uniform was this color uh, because we were an all-girls school and it was extremely sexist but I do cringe a little bit when I see that hot pink. I love it, but it reminds me of my carrot top head wearing it. And, oh, I used to hate that color so much, but now I love using it. Um, but it is very, very, very fluoro and bright. <laughs> but jazz hands are at the end of the layout. I hope you enjoyed this and it gave you some inspiration to use some paint pens if you've got them lying around and to try and use up all your circling bellies on one page. All right, peeps, I'll see you very soon. Bye.